They have a, there's a way they look at Africa or look at being African that I have to break down. Like some people, they don't understand why we have so much sound effects. You know, Africans, we get on with it. Our, our conversation don't last too long. And I learned this very early on. When I went to visit my friend Tunde, I was 15 years old. Went into his house. Tunde's dad came in and had a conversation with Tunde's mom. Now, you know, we don't waste time. Now, this is how we're going to have this conversation. I'm going to split you guys. So, see this whole side. All I need you to do is, eh uh -huh. Okay. Are you good? Please uh -huh. give me that, that bass. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, after three, one, two, three. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. <laughs> this side, okay, this is just the middle right here. All I need is, ah, ah. Can you, can you, can you connect with that? Ah, ah. So, after three, one, two, three. Ah. Mm, that's wonderful. You guys say, it's simple. Ah. No, no, no. Hit it and leave it. Ah. So when I point the microphone to you, you need to know your sound. So what's this side? So you're looking at me like I, I refuse. I'm waiting for my mayoral elections. I am a serious man. I refuse to say it. So after three, one, two, three. You are Tunde's mom. This is the conversation. She was not responding with any words, just sound effects. So he came in, he was angry, sweating. Tunde asked, that was wrong. He went straight to the mom. He said, Daddy, can you imagine? They sacked me from my job today. That's what I'm saying. I looked at this man and said, Do you know where I am? I'm your best worker since 1967. I made so much money for this company. I will show you I am better than you. Then he called the police on me. They were ready to deport me there and then. Ah. But can you imagine? There was one guy there who said he had a job for me straight away. Yeah. I did not qualify. 